John Thomas Scopes was born in Paducah, Kentucky. John Thomas Scopes was the science teacher that had taught evolution in Dayton, Tennessee. So fucking Tennessee, our fucking southern neighbor in the north, the same fucking state that killed Martin Luther King Jr., same fucking state that passed the one-drop rule in 1910. 1910. You had one drop of black blood in you, you're all black. And you're out of the white community. The wasp, the white Anglo-Saxon Protestants, that's how strict they were. You had one fucking drop, out of, the, out of the community. You're banned, ostracized, get out of here. You're not one of us no more. So that's the, uh, uh, the wasp, that's how wasp are. But the Butler Act was the act to ban the teaching of evolution in the classroom. It went against Christian principles, and since the Bible taught that God created everything, we shouldn't learn anything about evolution. The problem with this is, well, there's many problems with it. First of all, evolution's basically been proven, right? So you're not learning the truth about your world. And um, what was it, 1859? 1859 is when uh, The Origin of Species was published. So that's when Charles Darwin wrote it. The Origin of Species was 1859, before the Civil War. So evolution has been out there since before the Civil War, over 150 years ago. So over 150 years ago, we've known about evolution and we're still fighting it. We're going to have another Butler Act coming up. Uh, Kentucky has been pushing for laws similar to the Butler Act. There's one KRS 158.177. So KRS... Kentucky Revised Statute 158-177 is on the books and authorizes teacher to teach creation, uh, theory of creation as presented in the Bible and to read such passages in the Bible as are deemed necessary for the instruction on the theory of creation. So 158.177 says you got to teach creation. So science teachers, if you haven't been teaching creation, you've been breaking the law. And, um, but, uh, the Courier Journal in 2006, January 11th, reported that in November 2005 survey of the state's 176 school district, none of them were teaching or discussing intelligent design. So they're all fucking breaking the law. All these science teachers are breaking the law by not uh, teaching creationism as taught in the Bible. So John Thomas Scopes, he was from born and raised in Paducah, Kentucky. So he's a Kentuckian. He's the one that uh, he actually didn't read the passage. He actually didn't read or say anything about evolution, so they didn't even analyze the evidence. Uh, but I think Inherit the Wind, uh, Spencer Tracy movie, I want to say, some old-time actor. But uh, it was about the Scopes Monkey Trial, and it was really good because it kind of showed how embarrassing and stupid William Jennings Bryan is. William Jennings Bryan is just a blip in our history. He never became president, even though he became president close two times. And then he wound up fighting the Scopes Monkey Trial as the prosecutor in defense of creationism. And he had a heart attack about two weeks afterwards. So that's his biography. Tried to become president several times, become popular. Lost a case where Dayton, Tennessee was mocked all over the world. Because why can't you teach evolution? What are we talking about? Why, what's this trial for? Why is he going to go to jail? He's going to go to jail because he, he said evolution is true. Does it matter that evolution is true? Is this some Galileo shit? How come every scientist that has a breakthrough in the scientific community, even amongst the scientific community, but all over the world, people always got to hate him? Why did everybody hate Newton? Why did everybody got to hate Einstein and Galileo and Copernicus and Ptolemy? You know? What's the point of that? That seems ridiculous. So, the article, Kentucky Legislatures... Assailing Evolution by the National Center for Science Education, Defending the Teaching of Evolution and Climate Science. Legislators in Kentucky State Senate are concerned about the presence of evolution in the state science standards and associated end of course testing. So the Lexington Herald Leader, August 14, 2012, several GOP lawmakers questioned new proposed student standards and tests that dwelled deeply into the biological evolution during a Monday meeting of the Interim Joint Committee on Education. In an exchange with officials from ACT, American College of Testing, or whatever, the ACTs, I got 30 on my ACT, the company that prepares Kentucky's new state testing program, those lawmakers discussed whether evolution was a fact and whether the biblical account of creationism also should be taught in Kentucky classrooms. State Senator David Givens, a Republican in District 9, so 
It's always the Republicans. Always the fucking Republicans. Stop in education. Always for ignorance. The culture of ignorance. That's what the Republicans are for. Culture of ignorance. They want everybody to be stupid. They're against climate change because they don't trust the scientists. Yeah, because they're fucking smarter than scientists. Bullshit. Okay, so... Republicans, David Gibbons says, I hope that creationism is present as a theory in a classroom, uh, in a science classroom, alongside evolution. So he was actually just saying, I want, you know, intelligent design, uh, the Bible's account, Genesis, Adam and Eve story, to be present along with Adam and Eve, or uh, with evolution. So Adam and Eve along with evolution. But State Representative Ben Waite, or Wade, I've seen it spelled both ways, W-A-I-T-E and W-A-I-D-E. So Ben Wade, Another fucking Republican out of the 10th district of uh, Kentucky. He is uh, saying, no, we shouldn't even have evolution. So he's actually for the Butler Act. He's for Tennessee and the Scopes Monkey trial. This motherfucker's trying to get some more bad publicity uh, here in Kentucky. The ACLU already got a ruling saying that the uh, Ten Commandments was not allowed to be posted since that favors one religion over all the other religions. If you're in favor of having the Ten Commandments up, then you're in favor of all the religious doctrines being up. And if you're not in favor of all of them, then you're against you know, all of them. So either you're, you haven't got to have a consistent view. But they're breaking that law, too. I saw them in um, Knox County. Motherfucking Knox County's breaking it. The fucking Knox County Courthouse. They got fucking Ten Commandments still up, so they are flagrantly breaking Kentucky Supreme Court law. Nobody's arresting them, nobody's doing a damn thing about it. So, Ben Waite, he says the theory of evolution is just a theory. Essentially, the theory of evolution is not even science. Darwin just made it up. Wade was quoted as saying, My objection is they should ensure whatever scientific material is being put forth as a standard should at least stand up to scientific method. So he's saying that Darwin's theory doesn't even stand up to scientific method. No, the most rudimentary, basic scientific explanation, the theory of evolution, has always stood up to scientific scrutiny. But he says never. In Vincent Casson, the chair of University of Kentucky's biology department, he disagrees. He says to the Herald Leader, the theory of evolution is the fundamental backbone of all biological research. There's more evidence for evolution than there is for the theory of gravity. <laughs> So the theory of gravity has less evidence for it than the theory of evolution. So do you believe in gravity? Then you believe in evolution. If you're actually looking at the science. Fucking Republican Ben Wade and fucking Republican Givens. Fucking District 9 and 10. David, stay Senator. Stay Senator. You're a Senator. Come on, David Givens. Shit. <laughs> the theory of evolution is the fundamental backbone of all biological research. So, if you want to learn biology, you're going to have to learn evolution. You want Kentucky children to be biologists and be studying nature and how your body works? Who do you want cutting on you? You want somebody who understands biology from a Adam and Eve standpoint or somebody who understands biology from an evolution standpoint? Would you rather somebody who will just... <laughs> Never mind. So... Um, so, yeah, there's more evidence for evolution than there is for the theory of gravity, the idea that things are made up of atoms. Do you think that things are made up of atoms? That's a theory that things are atoms. Einstein's theory of relativity. So, all these theories, relativity, that things are made up of atoms, and gravity, have less evidence for them than the theory of evolution. So, if you believe in gravity, if you believe that we're made up of atoms, and if you believe in uh, the theory of relativity by Albert Einstein then you should believe in evolution. Is this finest scientific theory ever devised? Vincent Cassone says. David Helm, president of the Kentucky Science Teachers Association, declined to comment but referred the newspaper to the National Science Teachers Association statement on evolution, which strongly supports the position that evolution is a major unifying concept in science and should be included in the K-12 through science education frameworks and curricula. In a subsequent editorial headline, Keep Religious Beliefs Out of Science Class If We Want Kentucky Kids to Compete, Harold Leader observed, It is unlikely that the pleas by Senator David Gibbons, it's August 16, 2012, It is unlikely that the pleas by Senator David Gibbons, R. Greensburg, and others that creationism or other unscientific faith-based beliefs about the origins of the universe and its species should be tied along with evolution will gain enough traction to change Kentucky standards. Adding parents will always be free to teach their children as they see fit in their homes. 
but religious beliefs cannot be substituted for or equated with scientific understanding in public schools. At least not if we want our children to compete on a national level. So, of course, of course, come on, Kentucky, let's teach our kids evolution. Let the science teachers teach them. You don't have to teach them in your house, what? Uh, at least give them a basic understanding of what evolution is. If you're going to debunk it, you can't just say it's not science and then offer no evidence for it, okay? You can say it's not science as smart as you can come up with, but the scientific theory, the Socratic method, is you have to observe, and then from those observations, um, you know, testing, hypothesis, and watching those observations, that's how you learn. And you can also watch by or learn by other people's observations. So offer some evidence. What's the evidence? What are the things you're observing? What you're seeing? What you're hearing? What are you reading? What are you listening to? What do you, what do you know? So offer some evidence. You want to say evolution is not true? Why? Why is it not true? Because it is true. Evolution is true. We do not need the Butler Act in Kentucky. We do not need another Scotch monkey trial in Kentucky. We do not need any more people laughing at us. We're already on the fucking bottom, okay? We're already a shithole uh, compared to every indicator across the board. So let's uh, let's stop being an embarrassment to ourselves. Let's uh, let's progress. Let's get a little civilized. Let's evolve to uh, being more cooperative. Let's. I mean, we're supposed to be a democracy. Let's let's try some democracy if democracy works, you know. At least let's try it. So Kentucky lawmakers are shocked to find evolution were in biology test. <laughs> Darwin made it up by John Timmer, Ars Technic Technica. So they again quote David Gibbons saying that this should be taught alongside evolution. Ben Wade, W A I D E, says uh, his lack of scientific knowledge is just theory. It's never stood up to scientific inquiry. It's made up. Darwin made it all up. So, uh, Kentucky's hardly the only state that's got ev uh, issues with evolution. Tennessee, <laughs> Tennessee, you're, you're more backwards than us, motherfuckers. You're more racist and backwards. You killed the MLK. Fuck Tennessee. And you also come up with the one-drop rule. The one-drop rule. Come on, Tennessee. So, both Louisiana and Tennessee have passed laws that specifically target the teaching of evolution. So, again, Tennessee and Louisiana are worse off than Kentucky. These state-level efforts are now running up against national science standards that accurately depict evolution status as a well-supported scientific theory. Kentucky will certainly not be the last state where the conflict between the local desires and national standards end up creating problems. So, uh, that's a good thing, right? That's a good thing. The ACT is the test that they're using. Um, Right, David Gibson is being reported in this paper, the Huffington Post. So, a group of Republicans are against fucking science. For the fucking Kentucky Republicans hate fucking science. David Williams side. David Williams fucking Republicans hate science. They don't give a fuck about studying real knowledge and actually knowing shit. Biology exams has evolution on it. We need to learn evolution if you want to pass a biology exam. A state representative, Carl Rollins, a Democrat, says it's standard practice. They had the ACT dictate test. State Republicans are recoiling. David Gibbons, they quote David Gibbons, they quote Ben Wade. Uh, he said Darwin made it up. <laughs> uh, State Senator Mike Wilson, another fucking Republican, he says he thinks that the system could allow students to be indoctrinated by the study of evolution. So State Senator Mike Wilson is a Republican and he thinks that students could be indoctrinated by evolution. <laughs> Oh no, evolution. So, Kentucky Education Commissioner Terry Holliday responded to the lawyer's inquiry telling them that the test was based on evolution as a theory, not as a fact, asked by the Republicans why teachers couldn't simply include creationism as a counterpoint to lessons on evolution. Holliday reported Lee reminded them that creationism is a religious belief and doesn't have place in the science classroom. Science, National Science uh, Center of Science Education, which I read, uh, they talk about Louisiana and uh, Tennessee also, but uh, Kentucky, we had the House Bill 169 in 2011 and House Bill 397 in 2010, so twice they tried to uh, undermine evolution or create, you know, uh, teach creationism along the side of it, so it's House Bill 169 last year, 2011, and House Bill 397 two years ago, so they, they died in committee. They're both based on the Louisiana Science Education Act. 
So we're trying to follow in Tennessee's and Louisiana, fucking Louisiana, fucking Louisiana. You want to be shoveling shit in Louisiana or you want to get down revolution? Come on, Kentucky. Let's not be fucking like Louisiana or Tennessee. We're our own state. We don't need to be mimicking other fucking failed fucking policies. Get your head out of your asses, Kentuckians. Viva la revolution. It's time to occupy. Take back our state. It's time to have a day of rage. November 1st. 2012, Dave Ray's Louisville.